An electrician enters the entrance room with two doors, repairs an electronic, lock that unlocks one of the doors. When he's finished, he checks the code written on a piece of paper and opens the door. Going out into it, he enters the same room through the first door. The guy is confused. He goes out through the first door and finds himself in the room again through the second. Shocked, he checks the code on the piece of paper. He enters it again, opens the second door again, and still finds himself in the room. One more try. The same result. Another one and again. The guy pulls his hat over his eyes and takes a deep inhale removes the tool belt and supports the second door with it. The first one also opens and remains fixed. The electrician passes through once, twice. A third gradually goes on a run and screams. It doesn't help. Out of breath, he stops, takes a juice box out of his bag and drinks it, chews the stored food sitting on the floor. Then he opens the door again, props her naked, throws crumpled paper into the opening, hitting himself in the back, looking for some entertainment, throws himself a piece of paper, crawling through doors again, opens and closes them with the combination lock. Nothing helps. He tries to break the wall with a hammer, but it does not lend itself to measuring and knocking on the door. But this does not give any result. The guy plays with a folding ruler, jumps through it like a jump rope, squats portrays a robot and eventually accidentally breaks the ruler. Once again, having failed with the combination lock, he hits it and both doors are locked. The guy rushes, disassembles the lock while he is messing around. The first door opens. A black ball rolls into the room and immediately rolls away. The door closes and all this happens faster than the guy has time to notice. He closes the wires and causes the appearance of a strange glowing sphere, similar to an alien model of an atom. The electrician breaks the contacts. Another attempt to close. The wires disappears. Opens the first door. A girl in a white t-shirt and shoe covers enters it, holds the door so that two guys in protective suits pass through the room. On a stretcher they carry a girl in a black dress and a black hat. They all leave through the second door and the electrician watches them in bewilderment, but as soon as he rushes after them, he gets into the same room again. Strange people disappear, the guy swears, throws his hat on the floor and cries. The guy is lying on the floor. It's getting dark in the room, a glowing sphere, but this time it's not spinning. A small figure like a child rises from the floor. The guy wakes up still on the floor. After that, he meditates again closes the wires in the electronic lock, which is why the second door opens and a stream of wind with sand sweeps through both doors. Another short circuit through the first door. A copy of the electrician enters the room. Now they are locked in a room together. The second guy is sick. He is crying sitting in the corner or just lying, humming, something incoherent. The first guy takes off his overalls, tears it off and ties it up to it turned out a rope. The clone who sleeps. He takes the juice and pours it on the rope, which he then throws so that it stretches from one door to another. The guy attaches one end of the rope to one wire of the lock, takes hold of the rope, reaches for the second wire and falls. After receiving a current discharge, in the dark room, the sphere lights up again and the figure of a child appears. A clone of the guy wakes up and screams in horror after finding the electrician lying on the floor. He tries to escape through the first door and she suddenly takes him out of the vicious circle. The first guy comes. He opens the second door to himself and sees a reddish glow behind it. Here is such a strange short film. Subscribe. While.